The question tells us that there is a lottery system that selects four digits out of an original nine digits to make a four digit number. These four digits are selected at random and without replacement, which means it is impossible to have repeat digits. We are also told that we don't care about the order of these four digits, such that 3579 is equivalent to 9573. Well, how many possible four digit numbers in this manner can we select from an original 9? Well, that's just a question from permutations and combinations, which in this case is equal to 9 choose 4. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the C notation, NCR in general means N factorial divided by R factorial multiplied by N minus R factorial. Plugging into our case gives us a value of 126. So there are 126 possible combinations of choosing four digit numbers from an original nine where we don't care about the order and we cannot have repeat digits. This in turn implies that the probability of choosing any one of these four digit numbers as the lottery number is one in one two six. Now before we approach the question itself let's understand what the question is asking us. So as a participant I choose a four digit number and if that number, so I paid a lottery fee to enter this competition, and if my four digit number matches the lottery number, I win the prize money, but not all of the prize money. This prize money is divided evenly between all the winners of the competition. So the question specifically asks us to work out the expected, so on average, profit for a person per week who selects a certain number. So we're going to work in general. So the two numbers we're considering are 3579 and 1234. But let's write a general formula first and then we can plug into this general formula once we understand all the terms. So the expected profit is given by the total prize money divided by the total number of winners multiplied by the chance of succeeding, i.e. My, my number being chosen, and subtracting the lottery fee, which is just the one pound entrance fee to actually enter the competition. And the total winners itself is equivalent to the total number of participants in the competition multiplied by the winner rate, i.e. how many numbers, how many people chose that winning number from the lottery system. Let's write down some of the details from the question. The total amount of prize money is one million pounds. The chance of succeeding is one in one, 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 two, six, as we worked out from the above part. The lottery fee is one pound. The total number of participants is one million. And the winner rate is 1 in 100 for selecting the four digits 3579 and 1 in 10,000 for 1234. So it is clear that selecting 1234 is a lot rarer for people than choosing 3579. Now let's plug in these numbers for our two cases. So case A considers choosing the numbers 3579. So putting the numbers into that formula gives us a value of negative 21 pence. So on average, a person will lose 21 pence every week by choosing 3579 as their four-digit number. In contrast, if someone wants to choose 1234 repeatedly, so that they are a 1234 person, their expected profit can be calculated to be 78 pounds and 37 pence, which is quite an income. So, the final part of the question asks us, is there a strategy or is there some skill in this game when we choose a lottery number? Well, the short answer is kind of. In general, if someone has access to all the data inside the lottery system, i.e. they know how many people choose each number, then yes, there is a strategy, of course. We simply want to choose the smallest number, i.e. the least popular number, because that means if we do win the prize money, it's divided between a fewer number of people, and hence I get more money. And the probability of choosing any number is equal. But in contrast, if we don't have access to the data, then no, there is no skill to the game.